Well, today is uh, October 9th. It's a Wednesday. And uh, I've been trying to keep track of that terrible storm that's headed for the west coast of Florida. Of course, it's going to go right on through across Florida, it looks like, at this point. And uh, pray for all of you down there that uh, are in that path. I hope you found safe haven for yourself or else you're in a structure that can take the beating that's going to happen. Uh, they say it's going to turn into a monster when that eye hits. So, boy, find, find a good spot. And for those that were able to get in your car and head out, I hope you found gas and uh, get far enough away where the storm won't uh, affect you. And then when you come home, I hope there's something to come home to. Whew, that was a, moment, a lot there to say real quick. Oh, you know, the, it, it bothers me that FEMA, had, you know, they come out and they say how they're going to take care of you, and then they say we don't have the money, and then, you know, a different one will say, yeah, the money's there. We know that one of them is lying, at least one. Mariakis come out and he said that they're going to be short of funds. They won't be able to take care of that second uh, hurricane as well. And uh, we know that Congress will jump in there one way or the other to put to uh, get funds if there's none in there. But I want to tell you, right now, everything that we're operating on is borrowed money, and, and uh, you know they're not doing they're not a very good steward of our money. And it is our money, you you and me. Uh, if we run our uh, our budgets at home like that, like the, our country is, we'd be bankrupt. We'd be in the poorhouse. Not that we aren't, maybe some of us are. <clears throat> I hope when you go to the polls this year that you think long and hard about, <coughs> excuse me, who you're gonna vote for. Yeah, and you don't have to vote straight party to get things done. You can look at people that are going to do the job for you. And, but you need to understand how many of these people tell lies. I mean, if you have Mariakis telling you one thing and the people that are the directors of FEMA telling you something else, somebody is telling a fib. And we also found out there was a slush fund in there uh, money that they hadn't used before on other disasters and you wonder why it's not returned back into the general fund when it's like that uh, it shows you once they have their grubby hands on some a few bucks they want to hold it for rainy day specials of their own so it don't make sense and uh, monies that we allocate for one thing shouldn't be used for others when they said that uh, they weren't using it for the immigrants. They were lying to you there. For the last two years, they have been using it for undocumented people coming across our border. They're, they are giving them money. They're giving them a place to live. And uh, a lot of them that came from down there had a phone handed to them right away. So, And I don't know how that goes, how, how long they're able to have that. If it's like as long as they're here, they're getting a free phone, I don't know. I never followed it that close. I, I never gave much thought, but when I think about it, we got a lot of people living on the street that don't have any, not even a tenth of the benefits that these illegal aliens have coming across our border. And that's a shame. And uh, matter of fact, when you ask uh, the uh, politicians about what they're gonna do about it, it's more of a word salad coming out rather than what they're really going to do. We don't know. We just know it can't go on the way it is. And uh, the, the people who work for us, when we ask a question, they need to answer it. Well, I can't think of much else to say today. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I am uh, so happy that two leads in the pod have, through their persistence, have come up with the perpetrator of those signs down there in Otter Creek, that their expert, handwriting expert, the number one in this nation has determined 
who made those signs? Who did the writing on there? They got them. And some of, some of you don't believe it, but I'm telling you, it's pretty hard to argue with what the two leads in the pod came up with. And uh, I, I realize that no matter what, some of you will never believe what they come up with. And yes, the name they came up with was Jeremy. And the reason the other day I didn't name it on my uh, YouTube channel here was because I wanted you to go over to their channel and get it and look at the document. And they've come up with all kinds of excuses out there of why that document isn't any good. They just, people that hate, hate, you can't stop it. They'll find something new to hate about once this thing go, blows over. We never, we, no, nobody knows what happens or what will happen in the court situation when it comes to that. Uh, there's a lot of different scenarios. And um, even the fact that it may not even go to court because uh, <laughs> the facts around it is this. The biggest portion of that lawsuit was the fact that Miss Preston was the one that they blamed for those signs. And at first they found out not only did she not do it, but somebody doctored the signs to make it look like she did do it. They call that forgery. That's what they call that. The next part that came in was, how do we find out who did it? And multiple people were sent in, handwriting of quite a few different people. And that's how they come up with Jeremy. So all of you that have followed this, you know who that is. And uh, take it for what, what you think. Go, if you don't, you don't have to believe me. That's why I sent you over to two leads in a, in a pod. And uh, I want to thank the hard work of uh, Bruce, Super Dave, Robbie, Tori, Kendra, and especially Lisa for all that hard work and, and diligence and you're you're the that special person you really came through and uh i know you're trying to do more for these people so that they can actually uh have a better life and uh that little girl is going to get to have a a real christmas this year that she should have gotten last year now i'm sure she had a, a, a real christmas but it wasn't the same as a lot of children were able to get in Levy County down there. And uh, my understanding is there was another child that was uh, not invited to that celebration. And uh, I don't know if something's going to be done with that child to make up for it or not. Uh, that child is a teenager today. We'll have to see what happens. More to come, I guess. You have to go to two leads in the pod to see. And uh, congratulations. Congratulations. You did so much. You know, that's a little channel out there with the big hearts. So go look at it. Sub, sub to them. They need all the help they can get because they're on the side of the right. For that. That's all I got today. And. You know, thank you for coming in and listening to me. Yeah, and I know the camera's up there, uh, right there. And I'm looking over here. My computer is over here, and my camera's up there. So uh, it's easier for me to look in here. With that, I'm going to let you go. Have a great day out there, folks. And uh, boy, be careful down there in, in Florida. And hopefully everything comes out good for you. Talk to you later.